hi everyone to my uh, second assembly level language tutorial now in this uh, tutorial I'll be telling you that what computer understands or more specifically what processor understands uh, now when we were writing uh, C or Java language whatever we are we were using we are declaring something like in this uh, if that loops something like this but actually computer doesn't uh, understands any English uh, what it understands is that only zeros and ones which is high and low level voltage now obviously you can guess there is some sort of mapping that maps the our description from computers or microprocessors description now that system is called the binary uh, system uh, we are used with decimal system as you can see five means uh, to the computer as this thing so if you are not familiar with this thing I should recommend you to search for some tutorial on binary logics and something like this let's uh, get out of the number thing and let's we concentrate on some operations uh, now operation for if we say adding to integers we simply use a uh, sign say plus so here you can say we signify this sign to say plus but computer won't understand plus so what computer understand is that if you uh, say computer say this thing to the microprocessor so it will understand okay I have to add something so next you give me some data say you want to add zero zero one one and you want to add three so computer will understand this thing so computer will understand this piece of a code as well add then add zero one one which is decimal one and add uh, three decimal three and store it to somewhere so this is what computer means well uh, now uh, assembly language is also very similar to this thing and your assembly code have to be something like this now you might be wondering that you might be typing zeros and ones to write a program but uh, actually the thing is a little easier and the world is a little better for us so a uh, assembler comes into the play uh, to map our uh, concepts or our thinkings to numbers now let us consider this statement now it is telling that we understand add sub mul so what it uh, signifies is adding subtracting and multiplying now human beings generally they remember small names rather than some uh, strange uh, one zero combination so in assembly level language we would be using add and then some mnemonic mnemonics again now let me tell you this and sub mul these are mnemonics for our operation so if I want to say computer you add uh, 5 and 10 so we'll be telling like this add sorry add uh, 5 10 like this so add here is the mnemonics and these two things and these two arguments are the operands and then there is something called in the uh, system we will get as assembler which will map this thing to our uh, this binary code so this is what is the assembler is all about and what I'm actually telling to do that uh, computer don't understand any English so somebody have to translate them into English and we human being uh, we understand decimal numbers and uh, some names so as a mnemonics uh, we would be using this and subs and mulls in our assembly language and as a programmer you have to learn so many mnemonics and what they do and if you are successfully doing so uh, you will be a very nice assembly programmer so assembly language uh, it's very simple from uh, my perspective because all you have to learn is those mnemonics and what arguments comes with them and how they work uh, see you in the next movie